Hello everyone, it's Benoit from the Cloud and ML division here at Zama. In the division, we are building Concrete, which is our FHE compiler, and Concrete ML, which is our machine learning framework over encrypted data. Today, I would like to show you one of our recent tutorials. So we go to the documentation. We scroll a bit uh, and find the tutorials section. And here it is. So XOR distance is very useful, especially in biometry. The goal is to compare two vectors, X and Y, and to see how distant they are. I have prepared you a small example. Uh, so here we want to compare two vectors, X and Y, which are six bits vectors, uh, which are split into three packets of two bits. Uh, if you uh, look a bit, you will see that there are five bits which are different between uh, X and Y. And so the XOR distance of X and Y is going to be five. In practice, uh, this is the way it's computed, uh, the, the XOR distance. Uh, and then we are going to have uh, different implementations of this, uh, which we will execute over FHE. Um, we have uh, a file here. Uh, where we show um, uh, the different implementation and where we uh, are able to test them. Uh, I'm going to skip the first part. It's about the implementations. We are going to discuss that a bit later and just go to the test part. Uh, so here we are going to compile the function. Uh, we are going to say that X and Y are encrypted and uh, we give an input set, which is the typical range of uh, uh, input data. Then once the function is compiled, uh, we can generate the key and uh, for a certain number of inputs, uh, we take uh, random inputs, uh, we encrypt them, we execute the function, so we compute the distance in FHE and finally we decrypt the result and we can check that the result is the expected one. Uh, so let's uh, come back to the markdown file to see the different uh, implementations. Uh, so the first implementation is just a copy of the reference function. Uh, the second implementation uh, use FHE bits. So here we are going to add X and Y and then split this into bits and take uh, just the least significant bit, which is actually the XOR of X and Y. The third implementation uh, use concatenation. So here we uh, concatenate X and Y into Z and we apply a table lookup over Z. Table lookup is very useful um, and it's a unique operator which is available in TFHE, the crypto scheme that we use here at Zama. In the other FHE schemes, um, table lookup is not available. And finally, the fourth implementation use FHE multivariate. Uh, so here it's very simple. You will just say that you want to apply a function of two operators, so X and Y, and this is the definition of the function that you want to apply. And then concrete under the hood is going to replace this uh, with, um, with a table uh, lookup. Uh, now you can uh, directly execute that on your computer or on uh, any uh, machine that you want. And you will see the different implementations uh, with, a, with a different uh, configuration and you will see how long uh, they are. And at the end, we will be able to see uh, which one is the fastest one. I'm going to stop this um, and show you the result over uh, a beefy machine on AWS, so HPC 7A with this version of concrete. And this is the result that we got with the different implementations and configuration. And this is the function which is the fastest one. So that's it for this video. I hope that you learned a few things. If you want to go further, we uh, at Zama are open source. So have a look to our repository and see how it works. Uh, also, uh, if I were you, I would join our Discord, discord.fhe.org to be able to uh, discuss with the developers, but also with, uh, with the other users. Thank you.